Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. Sit, rock me, baby. Rock me all night long. I said, rock me, pretty baby. Yeah. Till the break of dawn. <laughs> I said, rock me, pretty baby. To my back ain't got no bone. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. There is Chelsea in the darkness. It's good to see you, Chelsea. Hey, everybody. Uh, How'd you like my deadly harp playing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was the right key. Yeah, that, that's why I put it down. I was like, yeah, I'll probably get in trouble. Somebody will write a comment. Hey, you're ruining his song. <laughs> I don't own the rights to that song. That was definitely a little bit of a cover to start off with. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up, Chelsea? Tell us how it's going. What's what's happening? What's the haps? I am like a chicken with its head cut off or legs, whichever way you want to picture that or both. Yeah. Today has been such an interesting day. Uh, I woke up late, drove my son to school. Then I rushed over to Trent's to record a few of uh, some vocals, harmonies uh, with my daughter. Then I dropped off my daughter and then I had to go and, um, what did I do? Oh, I dropped off my daughter, went and cleaned my car really quick, then picked up my sister to go drop off my niece and then go back for her son, drop them off uh, at the, uuh, no, I have to pick up my son. Yeah, it's been a crazy day. Wow. <laughs> it's been a very, very crazy day, but okay. so <laughs> I feel super like productive. <laughs> it looks like you, uh, you're you on the road right now. Where Are you on the road? Are you guys driving right now? What, what are you up to? Actually, no, I'm just sitting here in the driveway of my aunt's place so that my kids can play inside and I could be here and then my daughter is not then sleeping in the car and me trying to drive around and do the podcast at the same time. Wow. Um, That's a pretty, pretty wild schedule, I'll tell you. That's life hacks. Commitment. Sure. That's, yes. that's the life of a single mom, you know? Yes, for sure, for sure. It sounds like... Uh, like uh, Superwoman time, for sure. <laughs> and I got to say, Amy did really well in the studio. Like, we gave her some headphones, gave her a phone, and asked her to be quiet. And she did for, like, the first pass through. And then even when she didn't and she was running around, she was doing it quietly. So I couldn't even really <laughs> hear her in the background. She's three, but I'd see her, like, in the peripheral of my eye run by. <laughs> and then a ball would fly by. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, Half the time when I would do my live videos, Amy would actually be playing and running around or running by and stuff. So she knew well enough, you know, because like when I would do my my live videos and singing and stuff, she would know well enough not to come and jump in front of the videos. Every now and again, I guess maybe you would see her for a few seconds or something. But for the most part, she was always like quiet. And if she got tired of that, that's when you knew like, OK, it's time to end the video now. And <laughs> yeah, so. I wasn't really all that worried. I just kind of thought that maybe because it was a new place that she would just want to touch everything and jump around and like jump on Trent and everything while we're trying to record, but she did really good for a three-year-old. Yes, definitely. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you know, uh, we seem to be getting a lot of, uh, you know, people that are interested in uh, to be on the show. So yeah. we just want to send a shout out to all the people that are sending in you know, request to be on the show now. It's starting to get a bit of a following here. And we, we have want to thank, Kristen uh, McKay. Yeah. Sorry, next yeah. week. Kristen McKay from Manitoba. Chevy mm -hmm. Bolio reached out to me, and I believe he's going to do the 15th of March. I'm not – I didn't confirm it yet, but I'll talk to him this week. So that's Chevy Bolio. He's on the radio. Country singer from uh, Northwest Territories, lives in Calgary. Second-generation musician. Yeah. Just like our – just like our guest today – Brianna Lazat and her dad, who she grew up playing music with, and her grandmother was a musician as well. So today we're going to do a lot of talking about generational musicians in the Indigenous community. That's awesome. Yeah. So 
That's really cool. How was your day? Uh, my day was all okay as well. I was quite busy. I, I'm just getting to the final uh, pieces of completing my uh, documentary now. Um, nice. I've sent the uh, the final um, the final piece in to uh, you know uh, get checked out by the grant board now. So you know I have my first draft done, but I I, I have to. Uh, kind of wait until they do that uh, finishing search here in the spring. So in the springtime, they're going to do the, the finishing searches for the unmarked graves uh, on uh, Gordon's First Nation. So that's what I'm going to be uh, – that's what I'm working on right now. And then also uh, I just found out that I might uh, uh, have, a, have a position at the Bounce Centre uh, for three months uh, doing film, filming uh, – people that have been there past and present since 1970 for the 50th anniversary. So we'll see. It's not a for sure yet, but it looks, it's looking pretty good. And I want to send a, a big shout out to my honey, uh, Joanna for hooking me up with that, uh, with that uh, opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. I have one more, one quick little announcement to make before we uh, bring on our guests. Um, yeah. This is going to look a little bit ridiculous, but uh, so um, our previous previous guests, uh, Will and Justin with One Nation, um, we had started a fundraiser. I'm in charge of this, and if you'll just kind of give me give me a second to. Uh, just kind of show you. I'm totally, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> that is awesome. See, as you can tell, there's like some names already, already on the board, and um, we've got lots of prayer left well, if you guys are are tell interested us, tell us the first so. uh, first place winner second place winner and third place. <laughs> how much, <laughs> how much <laughs> the first place winner is five hundred dollars second Ooh. place is three hundred uh third place is two hundred so there's three winners i thought it'd just be fair to kind of split them up i know some people prefer to have just the one prize of a thousand dollars because it is a 50 50 board but sometimes you know like people um enjoy the ones winning the smaller prizes or whatever oh, yeah 200 bucks in the pocket on uh friday or whenever you're gonna draw <laughs> Do you give out participation <laughs> ribbons for this <laughs> it's for future events and costs and stuff for our gatherings and whatnot so we'll be talking about you know mmiw every child matters you know the the graves of the children the residential school children like everything just and it's an opportunity for all different people of you know color walks of life religions uh, cultures and stuff to just kind of come together as one nation so that's why it's yeah. That's awesome. So, That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So I know that uh <laughs> did you did you get a chance to go to that event on um that was held? Um what was it on in the mall, I think? Was it held? Yeah. yeah, um, so no, I didn't. Uh, I was oh. looking forward to meeting Chubby Cree, and I, of course, like could not seem to function past whatever what was right in front of me that entire day. Actually, for a few days, it was like that. So it was like I was double booking for other things, and I was like saying I was being a yes person, I guess, basically. Yeah. And, I, and then I totally forgot about the event, and I'm like, oh no, you know, like. But I did watch some of it live and 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 whatnot. So yeah, it's really cool to have Chubby Cree a part of our a part of our group and and um, I'm looking forward to doing some music with him and um, we're nice. looking to record a few songs and yeah. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I was actually I, I was uh, at the uh, in Calgary um, doing a, a meeting for the um, for the Calgary International Blues Fest there. So I'll be uh, I'll be participating as a vendor and also a performing artist. Um, wow. But I wasn't I wasn't able to make it though. I wanted to make it, and I I remember that uh, the guests said that their their event was right on the day that I had to take off. So it was just like ah, oh, yeah. But uh, hopefully, I know there's going to be a lot more events, and you know, us as a podcast, that's what we support here is positivity and coming together in the community and. I think it's just wonderful that you're involved in something so positive. It's something we need. That is yeah. correct. We need to get together. Oh, I see Brianna. 
Now we can get started with Ooh. our guests if you guys want. And I just got to say that Chelsea did come and she has been really good singing on my project. I too have a project that's coming out soon. I recorded an eight song album that deals with the um, issues of indigenous homelessness. So Chelsea's been great to do a bunch of background vocals and everybody else that played on the record, Russell Schott, Ian Rossiter, my brother Bryce, James played harmonica, oh, Jared Sound played piano on a few. It's just everybody came together and everybody played amazing things and sang amazing. So thank you guys all so much. So in the next couple months, I'll have a new project coming out. But let's bring in Brianna and her dad, Brian. Here we go. We're blessed to be alive. So stand tall every day. 